हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बाइनरी ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग इन C++ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट डाउन माय इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स माय ऐप बुक्स एंड YouTube चैनल नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द कांसेप्ट बाइनरी ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग सो यूनरी ऑपरेटर्स वर्क ऑन वन ऑपरेंड व्हाइल बाइनरी ऑपरेटर्स वर्क ऑन टू ऑपरेंड्स Similar to unary operator overloading, binary operators can also be overloaded. In binary operator overloading, one operand is passed implicitly to operator function, and one is one is passed explicitly to operator function. So, in case of unary operator, only one operand is there. So, uh, one operand is passed implicitly in case of unary operator overloading. But but in case of binary operator overloading, we have two operands. so one will be passed implicitly and another will be passed explicitly to the function so you can understand this concept with the help of this syntax so first you have to use return type then operator is a keyword then operator symbol which you want to overload and all explicit arguments data type will be mentioned here inside these braces you can define definition of overloaded operator function so this is an example previously we have seen addition of two complex numbers then the statement was c3 equals to c1 dot add c2 so this add is name of function c1 is passed implicitly and c2 is passed explicitly using operator overloading we can implement this statement as c3 equals to c1 plus c2 so here plus is applied on c1 and c2 and these two objects uh, are related to user defined data type so whenever we apply any operator on user defined data type then we have to overload it so in the above statement plus operator is overloaded to apply addition operation on user defined data types so this is the complete example written in c++ name of class is complex it has two attributes real and imaginary then three methods are declared first is read second is show and third one is operator plus so return type of this function is complex this operator is keyword then plus is symbol which we want to overload and then one explicit argument that is uh, complex will be passed in this function then outside class first read function is defined which is reading real and imaginary values second function is show which is printing real and imaginary values on console third function is uh, operator plus so in this function this complex is return type then name of class because we are defining this function outside the class then scope resolution operator then operator keyword then plus is symbol and this complex c is receiving explicit argument from main function then complex temp object is created so temp dot real will be receiving real plus c dot real temp dot imaginary will be receiving imaginary plus c dot imaginary and return statement will return the value stored inside temp object now uh, i am going to relate this definition with main function so inside main function three objects are created c1 c2 and c3 then c1 dot read and c2 dot read functions are called which will receive uh, two complex numbers from user then this statement c3 equals to c1 plus c2 it will invoke overloaded overloaded operator that is plus so c1 will be passed implicitly and c2 will be passed explicitly so values of c1 is received here directly through real and imaginary and values of c2 are passed explicitly to this object c and through this c object these values are used here through c dot real and c dot imaginary and addition of c1 and c2 are stored inside temp dot real and temp dot imaginary then this returned temp object will be received by c3 in main function and c3 dot show will print the uh, added result on console so this is overall working of 
overloaded operator which is plus here similarly you can uh, overload remaining binary operators like minus multiply divide less than greater than etc so this is simple example based on binary operator overloading with the help of this example you can uh, implement these programs uh, for your practice so first program is to read two integers through objects and compare them by overloading less than greater than and double equals to operators so uh, these operators are binary operators so you can implement this program second is program to compare two strings by overloading less than greater than and double equals to operators and third one is program to add two complex numbers by overloading plus equals to operator so all these operators are binary operator you can easily implement uh, these programs with the help of the program which i have explained you so implement these programs so that you can understand the concept of binary operator overloading in c++ thank you for watching this video